and I'm Mike from Regala Photography, where we talk about everything photography. Today, I have 14 gifts for the photographer in your life. And the best thing about it is that most of these gifts, actually almost all of them except for one, are under under $50. And then the other one is actually under $100. So, um, really good gifts. I own every single one of them. And I've actually used every single one of them. So we're going to start from the cheapest and we're going to go all the way to the most expensive. Okay. And that's the only order I'm going in. It's not, not based on my favorite or anything like that at all. All of these are great gifts. Okay. Here we go. Okay. The first one is the Spuds Ultra microfiber cloth. And it is inside this little pouch, which is so cool. Okay, and it's attached. It stays attached inside the pouch, so you'll never lose your your uh, uh, microfiber cloth for cleaning your lenses and what have you. Okay, and the cool thing is, it's got this little hook right here. You can hook it right to your backpack or whatever bag you have, a sling, whatever. Hook it right to it. You got it right there. And when you're done using it, all you got to do is take the cloth and just push it all back inside this pouch and you're good to go. It's all inside the pouch right there. Okay. Now the other cool thing is, is that it comes in different patterns and colors and stuff like that. They also have a six by six inch and then they have a 10 by 10. I believe these right here are the 10 by 10s. Okay. You can get one a little bit smaller if you don't need one as big. I prefer to have the larger one. You know, you just never know when you're going to need them. But these are only $7 as of right now. All links will be in the description. And I will tell you right now that none of them are affiliate links. So I'm not making any money on this. I paid for all these items uh, out of my own pocket. And I'm not being sponsored or nobody sent me these or nothing like that at all. So they're all mine. I use them. End of story. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right, the next one, number two, are the cold shoe bubble levels, okay? So what these do is they go inside the cold shoe of your camera, all right? And they allow you to level your camera when it's on a tripod, all right? And now if you think about it, a lot of, a lot of tripods come with levels, but the problem is, is when you put your camera on the tripod, it, it covers up the level and you can't see it. So it doesn't make any sense. So you, this way you can put the level right here where you can see it. The cool thing is with this one is that you can put this on your camera on the cold shoe, or if you're you got a cage, like I have a cage on here, I could put it right there on this part of the cold shoe right there and put something else on the camera cold shoe or hot shoe, whatever you want to call it. So the cool thing is, is that now you can see it. All right. Now that to me, that just makes much more sense. Hey guys, future Mike here. Um, listen, I apologize for the video. Um, there's a lot of spots in the video where I'm not looking at the camera. Um, I was trying to make sure that the product that I was talking about was in focus. And I just, you know, I kept looking up at my monitor. So I, I, I'm truly sorry for, for doing that. Um, it was an old habit that came back to me. And um, so anyway, I apologize. The, the video is still good. I still have all the products in there. All the information is still good. But um, again, I apologize just for not looking at the camera during, during filming. So happy holidays. Next one, um, technically not a photography accessory. However, I do use it as one are these right here. Field notes. Let's see if we can get this in focus. There we go. Field notes, a little notebook. Okay. They come in all different kinds. You can get different lines. You can get dots, uh, whatever, whatever floats your boat when it comes to that. And basically, these I use to keep notes 
a lot of times you don't feel like taking your phone out or if you if you do put it in a little note file on your phone you sometimes you forget about it okay at least this you can keep right in your camera bag i also have a, an edc pouch which is an everyday carry pouch i keep one in there as well so if you want to write down your settings uh for a particular photograph let's just say you were doing um Oh, I don't know. You were doing an HDR photo. You had to do multiple exposures and you're going to blend them in Lightroom. Okay. You can write down all your exposures ahead of time. So now you know it. Yes, they are recorded into the photo, but this way you know exactly where they are for which photo. So field notes. Oops. <laughs> field notes. Next one. This gift is again, under $20. I'm sure you've seen this in pretty much every single gift for photographers the rocket blower okay we use this to clean our sensors off to clean dirt off of our lenses before we wipe them with our cloth so what you would do is take your your blower clean off your lens and then you take off your take your microfiber cloth your spuds and then wipe it down that way if there is any dirt, like sand or something like that, that's on your lens, you won't take this and scratch your lens with it. Okay. You can blow off all the loose dirt first, and then you can clean it with your spuds microfiber cloth. Okay. So rocket blower. Okay. This next gift, I'm telling you, I'm shocked that this gift, that this particular item is so inexpensive. Okay. Cause it is fantastic. It is a super clamp. Okay. This one is by the company uh, Impact. Manfrotto makes one as well, but they charge like double or triple the price as Impact. And this one is just as good, if not better. Now, Impact makes two different styles. This one's got the ratchet right here where you can take it, you can pull it out, and then you can adjust it. So this way, if you're in a tight spot, you pull this and move your lever out of the way, and then now you can crank it and tighten it down. Okay. Or open it back up and then if you still again if it gets in your way you can just so like say you're by the wall or something you do that now what would you use this for well basically right up here you have um you can put a, a little stud in here i forgot what they're called offhand i think it's called a baby stud or something like that but you could put that in here and then put this on a you can see a magic arm magic arms are those arms that are articulate articulating arm and you can adjust them. Um, I will tell you right now, Impact makes a kit where you can get this, um, the clamp. You can get the magic arm. You get a little mount for your camera or whatever you want to mount onto it. And it's all just like $99. If you just want the clamp by itself, the clamp is uh, $19 or it's like $20, I think. Okay. Now they do have another one. It just turns. That one I think is like $20, $25. Okay, that was a little bit more. I again, I prefer the the ratchet one, but whichever one. Now that it comes with an insert, I don't know what to do with the insert right now. But there's an insert here, so this clamp can go around something round, and then you can clamp it down on like a pipe or a pole or something like that, or a tripod or a light stand. But there's a piece that goes in here that'll uh, flatten that right out. So now you can clamp it to a desk. Okay, so here's your, here's your desk. You can clamp it down to the desk, and it's flat. And it won't do any damage to your uh, the surface of your desk. So, super clamp, great gifts. I tell you, it, get a couple of them because they are that expensive. Okay, awesome gifts. The next one, again, around twenty dollars as as of the uh, videoing or the or recording of this video. Okay, um, is a thermal label maker okay these are fantastic i make labels with these these are nice because you don't need ink i tell you that makes a huge difference i have another one that you got to put the ink cartridges in all the time and if you don't use it for a while it dries up and then you're stuck without it this is uses uh, the thermal technology where it prints with uh, the thermal heat or whatever that's called and you can print pretty much anything you want now there is an app goes with this it's, it goes on your phone okay and you connect it via bluetooth and then you can 
type in what you want on your phone app. Uh, I have a screen recording right here. And you could type it all in. And then you just hit the print button. There's so many different things that you can tweak. You could add emojis. Uh, you could change the font, the size of the text, like the size of the label, etc. Okay. You could change it all up. And all you gotta do is hit print. And then it comes right to here to the label maker. And I tell you, for 20 bucks, this is a lifesaver. I use it for, um, I have a light or a, a, a switcher to turn on and off my different uh, electronics I have here in my studio. I got each one labeled. Okay. And all I got, I know exactly what I'm gonna have. If I need my light for recording a video, my key light, hit the button. If I wanna turn, uh, I don't know, another light on, hit that button. And if they're all labeled, I know exactly which one is which. So a thermal label maker. Okay, this next one. Again, I am sure you've seen these in different videos, but I tell you, the best gift ever. The small rig, it kind of, I, I don't really want to call it a multi-tool, multi, multi -tool, but it is basically just about every tool you're going to need besides a pair of pliers um, for being a photographer. It's got your Phillips heads, it's got your torque screws, it's got your Allen, it's got a flat head. Um, also, it's really cool is right here that you can put your quarter 20 or your three eighths screws in here and keep some spares. So if you ever lose one when you're out on the job or whatever, you could take one off and put them, keep them right on here and you can screw in different sizes. So different screws for different things. So it's a great gift comes in this little carrying case. Okay. I keep it in mind. I keep one in my studio and I keep one um, in my photography bag. I use this at least a couple times a week. Okay, instead of going to dig out my regular tools, I know that the, the ones in here, I know they're going to fit the screws that I need for my tripods, um, my cages, etc. So I know that all, the, all these are going to fit. So small rig, multi-tool. This next one, this is probably my favorite item that I've purchased all this year. I started using the Falcam quick release system. And I have a video that I am actually working on right now for the system. Basically, this kind of takes the place of your Arca Swiss um, quick release. So what you do is you have, it's a two piece system. It kind of looks like the Peak Design capture clip. Okay, uh, it's pretty similar. However, I feel Peak Design really dropped the ball. They could have expanded. They, I mean, they had the capture clip and that's it, okay? Falcam, which is made by Ulanzi, they just, they took this idea of a, of a, of a uh, quick release and they expanded, they have it on several of their, um, their items. Okay. So all you do is that you take this right here. Actually, I got a little cover on here. So let me take that off of there. Okay. And you got your screw on there and you just screw this to the bottom of your camera. So I have one right here. Here's my, my B cam. It is a uh, EOS R. All right. And you can see I have one right there on the bottom there. And then all you do is you take your camera and you slide it in. Oops, I got it the wrong way, I think. Right? Yeah, this way. Is it going different ways? <laughs> I'm not going to get it right, am I? Oh, there we go. Okay. And you can see it locks in. But let's just say you're not too so you don't feel like oh, I'm, I'm a little scared all you gotta do is take this button right here and you push it in oh no you pull it out sorry and turn it and now that really locks in so now i can't push that button accidentally and now this is not coming off if you had an arca swiss okay if you don't tighten that screw tight enough or that lever comes a lot of times those levers you got to always um, tighten up the, uh, the Allen, uh, screw that's in there. Okay. If you're not paying attention, you can loosen it up. This one's nice because all I got to do now is just take this, loosen it up and then push the button in. And then that comes right out. Okay. Now they have this on a tripods. I use this all different ways. Um, and again, I'm going to have a whole video on the Felcam system. This is the F38 
So it's basically their version of an Arca Swiss. Um, they have another one called the F-22, which is a smaller one. I use that for my uh, uh, monitor. So whatever I want to attach my monitor to my cage or to a, uh, a magic arm or something like that. I have one of those and then I have one of their monitor mounts that are also F-22 and put it in. Now they have one that I don't have. It's an F-50. That basically takes the place of the larger Manfrotto plate that's used a lot in uh, video setups. Okay. That one I don't use because I don't do a lot of video where I would need that. This right here is perfect. Okay. It's, it's just enough. And the cool thing is, is that on my R5 that I'm recording on right now, I have uh, the uh, Falcam cage. It has the F38 already built in on the bottom. And then all around, it's got the F22 built in. Okay. So instead of using a uh, NATO rail, you can just use their system. And I tell you, they pretty much have everything you're going to need in their system. And if they don't send them a request, I'm sure they'll come out with it eventually, but they're always coming out with new stuff. You know, sorry, Peak Design. I love your stuff, but um, I'll tell you right now, you dropped the ball on that capture clip. You should have expanded on that when you had the chance. Okay. But Falcam, quick release specifically on this one, the F38. Okay. This next one, uh, it, it's made by Ulanzi. It says Ulanzi right on it. Okay. But if you go to the Amazon page, it has another, uh, named, uh, Pictron. So I don't know if that's a, another brand that Ulanzi makes. I know Falcam is one of their, is one of Ulanzi's brands, but, and by the way, this video is not sponsored by Ulanzi. It's just the, 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 the gifts that I have are just ones that I use and that I've purchased. So, um, you know, Ulanzi, I would love to work with you. I have a bunch of your products. So if you're watching this, please reach out to me. But anyway, this right here is an Arca Swiss phone mount. So all you gotta do is loosen this up here. And then just like that, you could tighten it down to wherever you need it. All right. And then I loosen this up and then this will fit right there on, oh, there we go. All right, there we go. Your phone can go right in there, right there. So let me grab my phone. And all I gotta do is take that like that. Okay. And like that. And then it's on there. It comes with a old shoe mount right here on the side where you could put a light or a microphone. There's one on the other side too, okay? And then down here, this is an Arca Swiss that will fit pretty much in any Arca Swiss tripod. But if you want to, it also has the, um, I think, believe it's a quarter 20. So you could screw it on to anything that has a quarter 20, um, the male, the, the screw, and it'll go right in. But the last gift I showed you is the quick release. You could take one of these and scoop. Do I have it in there? No, I don't have it. Let's see here. There we go. I'm not going to go in all the way with it, but you get the idea. I can't do this while I am looking up here. There we go. And just line it up. Okay. And you would tighten it down with your small rig uh, um, multi tool. Good to go. Now you have this on a quick release and you can just slide this on and off. So you buy multiples of these plates, put them on everything you need. And then you buy the base plates and you can buy the kits if you want. And then you just put them everywhere. And now you have them every, on everything you use. Everything is on a quick release. So anyway, this is the Ulanzi phone mount. I believe it's the ST, ST09, I think it is. Um, I'll put a link again in the description below. Okay, this next one, need to back up a little bit here, is the Ulanzi rechargeable wand, light wand, okay? You can do different settings here. You have, um, this one is RGB, okay? So I could take it and I can, I can see here in the dark, change the color. So we're changing more towards blue here, okay, green, blue. There we go. There's green. Okay. So again, we can do that. 
hit the mode button. Now you have a different scenes. Uh, let me see, faint bolt ball, whatever that is, party. Okay, and I'm not gonna go through them all here. You got a candle, TV, a flickering TV, fireworks, etc. You click the mode again. And now it goes to a regular light that goes all the way from, oh, let me see, I don't remember here. I'll put it in the uh, description, so. Actually, hey, oh, this goes pretty, pretty cool. It goes to 9,000 Kelvin all the way down to, um, I think it's like 2,500 Kelvin. Okay, right now I'm only at 5,000, so. But you can see how it's changing. It's getting warmer and warmer and warmer. 2,500 Kelvin. So 9,000 to 2,500 Kelvin, okay? And then you can hit the mode button and go back to, our, uh, to the RGB. Now this is rechargeable, which is really cool. It's got a USB-C, so you can just recharge them. I keep two of them around. These are great. You can use them as um, like a, a hair light. If you need them for your, you know, while you're doing a YouTube video, all right? Or you can use these for longer exposures for creating some white paintings and all that. So these are a great gift, around $32, I think. Okay, awesome, awesome gift. So. Okay, another light by Ulanzi. I don't want to blind you here. So this is a VL120. It's also an RGB light. Um, this one does not have all the, the scenes or anything like that at all. But uh, like I said, right now I got this set on, oh, you see, that's on 68 Kelvin. So I could turn this one all the way up to, again, 9,000 Kelvin. So that's how cool it gets. And I believe it'll also go down to 2,500 Kelvin as well. Okay, so yeah, 2,500. And again, this is full brightness. It's rechargeable, okay? Um, yeah, if you needed a hair light, I don't have any hair, but if you needed a hair light or a rim light, this would be great just, you know, off scene. A lot of times I'll keep one over here and um, on my shelves over here and just shine it over onto me. But I tell you, these are great. Um, they... They, they're like the um, the Loom Cube, I think, makes one. Uh, uh, Araman, 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 I think, is the other company. They make them as well. But the thing is, though, the Armans there, they're so expensive. These are only like $30, $35. Um, and also, too, this comes with a lot of accessories as well. Well, not a lot, but um, you could take it out of the diffuser and you have just a plain RGB light, okay? Or panel without the diffuser. I like using the diffuser. This is good quality. Um, it's it's a heavy duty, like a rubberish material. Very, very good, okay? Um, I've had this probably for two years now, I think. And so far, it has not turned yellow. A lot of times these rubber things, they turn they turn yellow, okay? Um, I have a mag mod that goes on the, the flash. And I've only had it for less than a year and it's already started to turn yellow. But again, this one's also rechargeable, USB-C, so great rgb light again i get get a couple of these these are awesome and as long as we are still on ulanzi lights this is the ulanzi rgb cube basically a replica of the loom cube and i got yeah this is a kit you can get i'll show you in a minute everything that comes with it but again you turn the light on okay and again this is great it has this diffuser it just comes right off if you want to. And now it's a brighter, brighter light here. Get a little closer here for you. So, it, I mean, for a little thing, it's it's a little light. It's awesome. It has the quarter 20 on the bottom here. It is a proprietary charging cord. It does come with it. Um, not too happy about that part of it. Um, but I keep, I have a charging station right over here. So I keep, um, I have two of these. So I keep. Uh, one in my bag and one here in the studio. These are great if you do like pr uh, product photography, uh, if you're uh, photographing toys, these are fantastic for, uh, there's a guy on YouTube, I, I got a link to him somewhere in the description. He does uh, um, photography of toys. And he uses a bunch of these things. And I mean, tell you, these are awesome. Now you can buy the Loom Cubes. They are a lot more money than these, or they're at least double the price of these, but these work just as good. Um, so again, the Ulanzi light cube, 
And let me show you real quick what comes with it. You get, believe it or not, a set of barn doors. Okay. This is so cool to have a light this fall. I mean, it actually comes with this. So just take off your diffuser and magnetically you got your barn doors. You can set them at a different level. Um, it comes with a grid, a little tiny grid. So you can put that on here as well. And then you got your grid right on. There we go. There we go. That'll work. Got your grid right on there. Okay. And then it comes with your cone. So you could focus the light in one little area. And again, this is great for toy photography or small little uh, products that you may be like rings or jewelry or crafts or whatever. Awesome. Okay. It comes with a set of colored gels. Now, usually what I do is I will put this because these are not magnetic, but there is a little plate that's magnetic. So you put the, the, the gel right on there. Then you put the plate right on top and you can do all the different colors that you would on a regular, regular studio light. Okay. And then it comes with a carabiner, a charging cord. Okay. And then also a cold shoe mount where you could take this like that. And then you could put it on here and put something on top of the light. You could double up the lights. Okay. And put two lights on here if you want to. You know, there's so many different ways to use these things. You know, whether you look up on, on YouTube, Loom Cube or Cube Lights, whatever. I don't care what brand you have. These things are definitely a lifesaver. And I've used them so many times, even just here in the studio. I mean, I got my key light right there and I got another light back over here. This is great. I'll put it on this side. I'm again on my shelf, shine them over here. I've used them for macro photography. Um, just awesome awesome lights and they're so small they don't they take up very little room in your um your your camera bag and i'm sorry i i know this sounds like a ulanzi fanboy fest but uh, um I, again i wasn't actually trying to find i was just trying to find products that i had that i use and that i really really can recommend and um to have them be under a hundred dollars but they happen to a lot of them happen to be Ulanzi or Falcam products. So I apologize for that. It, that was not intentional. But this one is another member of their quick release. And this is the Falcam F38 camera strap quick mount. Okay, here we go. Now, this works just like the other quick mounts, except it has two buttons right there. And again, you could take your camera. I'll use my EOS R there because I have it over here right now. I'm not recording with it. Just take that, slide it in, and just like that. Now, another cool thing about Felcam and Ulanzi, what they did was they understand that people have already in invested in stuff like camera straps and you know that kind of stuff, and they got their favorite, and they're not switching. Okay. Now they they do have a camera strap that, that you can buy with this or with or on top of this. And they have their own little proprietary clips, kind of like a peak design, but they sell this just like this. Okay. Without any, any straps. So all you got to do is take your peak design, your, the famous little red little tabs here and just put them on the little loops that they put on here. And then you can use your peak design strap. So, and now I have my peak design slide. And I'm using it with this. And again, I can have this around my neck like this. And let's just say I'm walking around and I've got my, my camera on my, my strap. But let's just say I want to get lower to the ground and I can't do this with a camera strap on and taking that on off the pain in the butt. Just pull these, boom. All set to go. You know, quick release. So, you know, again, kudos to the Falcam quick release system. Again, you took Peak Design's idea, you tweaked it a little so you wouldn't get sued, and you made it better. You took the, you made it a system. Instead of just one product, you made it into a system. And again, I, I know I'm preaching it right now, and I said I'm going to do a video on 
the Falcam system. So, but again, I, this is just fantastic. So the camera strap, quick release by Falcam. Okay, lastly, um, surprisingly, not a Ulanzi or a Falcam product, okay? So this one is a Moment Cinebloom filter, okay? And this is this one is mo uh, usually mostly for video uh, videographers. Right now I have the 10% one on my uh, R5 right now while I'm shooting this video. This one right here is a 20%. So what this is, this is makes it more intense. You're seeing these become more and more popular right now. Yeah, uh, digital photography and digital videography has, has gotten so good that when you get a video out of your camera or a photo out of your camera, it is so sharp, it looks almost unrealistic. It's like, no, the world is not that sharp, okay? So that's where these Cineblooms come in. They kind of soften your skin. They soften the light. They give a little bloom to the light to kind of make them, you know, kind of uh, feather out a little bit more instead of just have the outline of the light. Because again, the, the, the new technology with the lenses and uh, the cameras and all that, I mean, you don't even need, if anything, when you put it in the post into your editing software, you usually have to turn the sharpening down. I mean, because it's just, it becomes a little too, too sharp, okay? I know a lot of people, a lot, especially a lot of portrait photographers, they they like, oh yeah, I got that eye, it's, it's nailed, look at how sharp it is. Well, a lot of times it's too sharp, okay? And it doesn't look real. They look like mannequins, okay? So again, this will soften up your photo or your video. Again, mostly for videographers, but if you're a photographer and let's just say you're out at night and you're shooting some neon signs, you're doing some street photography, there's a lot of street lighting, this will kind of soften that light and give it the mood. If I was doing street photography, I would probably use the 20% the to really kind of give that bloom. Again, if I take this, oops, sorry. If I take this and put this over my video right now, um, it's probably gonna be a little too much, okay? But that's that'll be about 30% bloom on there right now right now that's 10 percent which for my studio for the lights that i have in here 10 percent is just fine so these are by moment these are i believe 84 85 dollars each um again i have two of them they make a five percent one too um a lot of photographers or a lot of videographers are like the five percent one um again that just gives just enough to soften it this is 10 percent in this video right here so um you know, again, these are great. Get a hold of a couple of these. They're well worth it, in my opinion. Well, there you have it. 14 items for the photographer in your life that are under $100. All of them, except for the last one, are pretty much under, or they actually are under $50, okay? The most expensive one besides the uh, Moment filters um, were $39, so $40. So really, that's those are great gifts. I mean, you can buy a couple different ones for the photographer in your life. And I'll tell you right now, they'd be happy to get pretty much uh, any one of those items, okay? They're, um, I, I've seen some of them in other people's lists, but most of them were not in other people's photography lists, okay? And again, these are affordable. They're good quality. Um, you know, again, you can buy the more expensive items. And, and in some things, like when you talk about filters, um, I do buy the better quality filters. Now, Moment makes some really, really good filters. I buy Polar Pro. Um, I'll buy uh, uh, Freewell is another good brand. So those I'll definitely buy high quality, okay? But like a microfiber, well, for a microfiber clock, you want a good quality as well. And for seven bucks, the Spuds Ultra um, microfiber, that's a really, really good quality. It's a, it's a heavy if you feel it, it's a heavy duty uh, microfiber cloth. Um, but everything on my list is great quality, great quality. So gifts, you got the holidays a couple weeks away. There you have it. Thanks for watching my video. If you found it helpful, please click that subscribe button and also hit that like button. It really, really does help. 
Ring that bell if you want to be notified when my next video is posted. Until next time, take care, everyone.